When he gets all aggressive, I'm like, kids, stop. Dude sounded like Eminem got covered on a kid's bot. Fucking <laughs> cooking pasta. You call me a hick? I'm a dreadlock rasta. So when, when we release, we, we you know allow our entrants or whatever to sign up for the battle just by an email and uh, sign up as many as we can that one week prior, like Jeopardy said, we announced the pair who was going to battle. So if you want to write in that time, great. Old school freestyle battle, great. If we didn't show dedication to this, no one would be here to come see this. Right. So it's we we're getting what we put into this. Dubuque Battle Rap League, bringing top-notch battle rap to Dubuque by embracing hip hop culture and spreading it through our community. The work shows, you know, we're all dedicated to doing this. So, you know, we we come together, you know, you guys pretty much you got all the rap contacts, you do all the flyers and all the filming and then I get my my one week before to get me some stuff together. <laughs> <laughs> Practice makes perfect isn't just a cliche, it's fucking solid. <laughs> Coming downstairs, like the minute you open those doors and you see this big stage down here, you're just like, okay, something's gonna happen. So the local heroes who kind of, you know, uh, have stuck by us and kept us going. Yeah, you know, we have local uh, heroes. Matt, Matt Huseman, aka Huseman. Uh, uh, Jay Dot Maine. Who's uh, We got uh, Rich Mob and Devo and yeah. Sarai, they come down. D Bros. Phantom in there too. Yeah. Definitely. Almost. I, I think he's Platinum is technically local. <laughs> <laughs> consistent locals and then I want you or me to describe what they do. What they do for your pick. Phantom. Phantom. Phantom is how do you how do you describe Phantom? The man just comes with it. Like he is prepared. His nickname should be the, the educator. <laughs> D bros is incorrect and just a bit rude. It's pronounced D bras. Which would mean he's just a big boob. Until you come undone and sort of slip through your persona, then we all see you're just as hollow chested as Rihanna. You're the real D bro acting like rap hero, but get bodied by the one they call the rap emo. Maybe because my jeans are as tight as my rods is. Your raps are about as tight as college freshman girl vaginas. I've, I've, I've fainted at some of the stuff that he said. I'm just like, oh my god, what has happened? Um, yeah, he's a talented dude. He, his cadence, the way he says his raps, like he makes you hear them, makes you hear every single word, what he's saying, knows how to throw a punchline down. I got one for you, it's Hughes. So, out of, out of all the battle rappers, I would have to say Hughes is, is my favorite, just because he is the freestyle flower of all the battle rappers. This kid up, cause right now I'm kinda feeling Fed up, poem two, that's a record that you couldn't associate But right now I'm a freestyle and tell this kid to his face Like it's Phantom verse two is his next Ho, oh, that's a rematch to the next the best Where is he at? I'll tear the heart out of his chest Woo! But I gotta show some love I wouldn't even be rapping if it wasn't for this guy right here So I, I got a lot of respect Seriously, I got a lot of respect Really, yeah, he hits a beat and just goes and then he just he builds up his momentum. You can just hear it when he goes. You know? People who speak and then they're thinking of their next punchline as they go. I can't do that. So I have to give mad props to him. He he brings the energy every time. Who you got? Um, let's let's go with the best friend. Let's go with D Bros. D Bros. <laughs> I love me some D Bros. Reuse, but you can't fuck with me. Heard he got the HIV like Charlie Sheen. Seconds, D Bros, the rebuttal. What are you doing, man? You can't even rhyme. If I don't write your rhymes up on time, motherfucker couldn't stop me. You're in more shit right now than Bill Cosby. D Bros is uh, uh, like a metaphor, matador, and he's angry when he's battling, but. He's not necessarily angry at you, he's just got fire in him, you know? Bros is like the fiery little punchline guy, he's got his backpack and he's gonna get up in your grill. And he, he rides the beats, he always picks beats, I love that. You know, uh, the battle rap. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, as far as the, the, this hip hop shit that we do, 
teach him, but he will battle you, he will perform, he will break dance, he <laughs> will choreograph your shit for you. Uh, I mean, the, the kid just breaks it down and he can freestyle his ass off, so in the battle, it's never given that you're gonna get him. Uh, he has some nice little disses, some nice little lines, he's a, a funny kid, you know, he's always smiling, so it, it's hard to, it's hard to go in after someone who's always smiling and happy as he is, you know. So, so when you're battling against him, he's, he's got a good chance he's gonna get you. Hundred bucks, and you beat me means I slide in the parking lot. You get sucker punch for my coins, nigga, because I'm Mario. And if you want to be that bad guy, Wario, I beat your ass like Mario. I got something you can win, boy. And yes, I'm flying Jenny Craig, boy. Um, how loud they cheered for Sky too, you know, like uh, that wasn't his 17 year old rap, right? right? You know, but they were like, yeah. They asked to murder this guy like Hitler did the Jews. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you think you can rap? All we fucking heard was a cock a little dude. And that shit was obscene. You got fucking three shirts on. How many fucking shirts do you need? Keeping my flow steady. We don't need another competitor because I won this battle already. Turnouts have been great, the buzz, the words amongst people, and it seems like more and more coming out of their shell, even on stage. So. Now you guys got me battling the, the clerk at Hot Topic. Oh. No, stop it. <laughs> Once we listen to your CD, homie, just please stop it. So now it's me killing that silly Mac Millie hack who's about to fall so flat they're calling the Miley Cyrus's titty act. The poison stems from you being down under the ground, so I'm gonna end this night by doing damage to morale. Morale is also a kind of mushroom, just so we're clear, you kind of pick them out and grill them, sort of like I'm doing here. Test your ass up, you flunk it. You're all as fuck, but you ain't Tim Duncan. Fucker, I'm gonna put him in a truck. He's the love baby of Forrest Gump and Donald Trump. Speak of October, that's a victory. You hold me, Drip had you body bagged until I shot an OT. He's out of his luck. I think it's obvious this dude is sounding goofy as fuck. Yeah, he beat me one time. See, I wasn't on my level. When I'm on my level, all I need is a mic and a shovel. Six feet, bitch. Six feet is what I'm digging. Six feet. Who the fuck is battling me? Dig it. Fuck him. I'm pissed off. I'm looking for the cash. Tell the judge. Tell Phantom. Bros, kiss my ass. This kid's been here three times. Lost the first two battles. Came back and chewed everybody up. That's what's up right there. That's where we excel better than any other kind of rap league. Where we have we give people that, that week of time before the battle. So if you want to come out and freestyle and you kinda of know your opponent, you still can do that. Every third Thursday, right here, local hip hop interview. Small town hip hop. What more can you fucking ask for? How about a big loud 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 noise for hip hop in Dubuque? Interview legit. <laughs>